What's up boys and girls? In this video, I'm going to be playing the Pokemon trading card game online and I am very excited to play the Pokemon trading card game online. I recently just stumbled upon the Pokemon trading card game online. Now this is going to work on Windows and Mac so it doesn't matter what operating system you have. As long as you have Windows or Mac, this is going to be capable of running which is very nice and this is free to play as well which is a very nice thing. Now I'm not new to these card games but I am new to the Pokemon trading card game I remember as a kid I was absolutely collecting a lot of Pokemon cards but I never really got into the Pokemon trading card game to be honest I never actually played the game to give it a fair chance and let me tell you guys oh MG this game is absolutely fun I honestly personally think in my opinion if you're going to start one of these trading card games I think the Pokemon trading card game is the one you should start why at least in my opinion I think it's a little bit more basic than some other trading card games out there to play and I think for beginners and for people who never played a trading card game Pokemon trading card game is absolutely the way to go just because it's a little bit dumbed down to compare to some other uh, trading card games out there I have played Hearthstone and I have played Yu-Gi-Oh I played a lot of Yu-Gi-Oh that is my number one most played trading card game ever in my life why because I grew up with it a lot of kids were playing it they uh, brought me up on it they got me into it and I loved love 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 Yu-Gi-Oh so I'm not new to these card games but after playing a couple of uh, matches with the Pokemon trading card game I am absolutely in love with the Pokemon trading card game so you may start seeing more Pokemon trading card game from me and you may not see more stuff it just depends but I, as of right now I am absolutely love love playing the Pokemon trading card game now the nice thing about the online version on computers you can absolutely play this with CPU so for a person like me that might not be too good at the game or a beginner I can absolutely play CPU AI controlled uh, trainers and what I'm going to be doing in this video I'm actually going to be playing CPU controlled units because you can play uh, actual human controlled opponents but I would get my butt kicked to be honest if I actually played human controlled opponents and second of all I haven't really unlocked any Pokemon cards here you can unlock booster packs and things like that but I have not unlocked those and to be honest I'm only using the booster the starter decks or the beginner decks however you want to call them and I don't want to get my butt kicked by a human controlled opponent so I'm not going to be doing that now I will have to say that I am going to actually be showing you some uh, basics of the game if you're new to the game like me I'm going to be going over how to to play the game and things like that so I'm going to be running it down really quickly just in case you stumbled upon this video and you self doesn't know how to play this or you don't know how to play this excuse me and you want to learn how to play it and uh, maybe you don't want to play it but you still want to watch this video and you want to know how to play it and you don't want to get lost while I'm playing this game so I'm going to be showing you uh, how to play the game I didn't want to actually go through the actual tutorial of the game why because the actual Pokemon trading card game online actually bears down on you with a lot of tutorials and the tutorials can take quite some time so I'm not going to be doing that but right now you can see on screen I am on the main menu of the game I'm just going to go ahead and put play you can see there's a whole bunch of different stuff you can do on this game but what I'm actually going to be doing is I'm actually going to be playing the trainer challenge because I was absolutely having a very fun time playing the trainer challenge you can play it versus other people you can do some uh uh, events you can do a quick match with I think random uh, CPUs I do believe but I'm just gonna go with the trainer challenge right here it's gonna bring me up all the trainers I can play you can see there's quite a few trainers you can play and you can see I haven't unlocked a lot of them a lot of them are still locked so I'm assuming the farther you get in the trainer challenge the more difficult it's actually going to become you can see right now I have three opponents available for me to play I can play Zach which I'm not quite sure what element he runs but Mike runs a water a fire deck and this Calvin guy runs a, a water deck and you can see below it I can select from these three uh, starter decks are these basic decks so we have hidden depths we have born of fire and we have crushing current and to be honest with you guys I absolutely love the hidden depths deck I was tearing it up with the hidden depths deck so that's gonna be the water deck Fire, Born of Fire, of course, is obviously going to be Fire, and then Crushing Currents, as you can see on screen, is going to be an uh, uh, electricity deck, so you can see those are the three decks that are given to you. You may be saying that Born of Fire may be the best deck, or Crushing Currents may be 
fun or whatnot, but in my experience, I absolutely love using the hidden depth deck. Of course, if I do come across an opponent that has an electricity deck or a, a weakness that I'm weak against, I'm gonna have to switch decks. But of course, right now, I love the hidden depth deck. So at least in this video, I'm gonna be playing mostly the hidden depths. Uh, Hidden Depths uh, starter deck right here, and uh, I think as you go along and beat trainers, you actually get more cards to go into these starter decks, which you can unlock. You can see I'm um, 2 out of 7 for this. This is the one I've been using the most. I have tried Born of Fire and Crushing Current, and I don't really care about those decks too much compared to Hidden Depths. And I'm just going to get into a match with Zach, so let's go ahead and start the Pokemon trading card game online. And there's my name right there if you want to add me, the Trainer Wayne, that is my name. Feel free to add me if you want to play some games. We can hit it up if that's what you want to do. As you can see, I don't think I changed my uh, avatar. I think you can actually train, change your avatar, but I currently don't have my avatar uh, made yet. So I'm just using the whatever the basic uh, avatar is for the game. Choose a Pokemon to be your active Pokemon. So here is the main interface of the game. I'm going to talk about the game and talk about how to win and things like that. But what I got to say is I do think the interface is very nice, very clean. It's very subtle. I absolutely love the actual interface of the game. You can see that guy, that the opponent I'm playing does have a deck box in the very top right hand corner. You can see he has a deck box going. You can see my, our hands. Those are both of our hands. Opponent's deck is 53. My deck is 53 as well. You can see I, you can see my uh, card box. I do have the Hidden Depths deck. That's the deck I'm using. The Hidden Depths deck is a water deck. And then it does have some tutorials up, which I think you can disable, but I forgot to disable them. So we're going to get some tutorials, even though we don't, we don't really need them. They're kind of like tips if you're still new to the game. So basically, how you're going to win the game, there's two quite... quite criteria to win the game excuse me the first criteria is going to be running out of deck if you make your opponent run out of deck then you're automatically going to win the game but in my experience 99 percent of the time you don't run out of deck both players will not run out of deck you'll you'll end up uh meeting the other criteria before you run out of deck in my experience so the other way to uh win the game or the last criteria to win the game is actually going to be defeating your opponent's pokemon now the way to win the game is you only have to defeat six pokemon so once you defeat six other pokemon then you automatically win the game and each time you defeat uh, your opponent's pokemon you do get to draw draw from this prize uh this prize pool and the prize pool it consists of six random Pokemon cards that are randomly selected from your deck you just take out six Pokemon cards from your deck you set them aside as your prize pool and every time you defeat your opponent's Pokemon you draw from your prize pool and once you defeat six Pokemon and take six of your prize cards you instantly win the game that's how you win the game now just like the Pokemon video game you're only allowed to have one active Pokemon out at a time and then you can see that big blue area below the uh, big red pokeball in the middle of the actual screen where it says choose a choose a pokemon to be your active pokemon that's where you're going to set your benched pokemon now your benched pokemon are just like your backup pokemons in pokemon where you can have six uh or five other Pokemon that are not active, but they are in your backup. And I'm not quite sure about this, but I think if you actually don't have any backup Pokemon in your bench, I think you automatically lose, but don't hold me to that. I may be wrong about that. I'm thinking I may be wrong about that, but I don't know. But to be honest, I've always had back, I've always had Pokemon in my bench at every single time. Now I'm going to show you some of the cards. So here's all the uh, Pokemon cards, of course, on, on your uh, basic Pokemon. In the top left, it says basic. Basic means that you can actually throw it onto the uh, the active field. You don't need no other criteria. You can just throw it on there. Right now, I can put Eevee on there if I want to. On the right-hand side, on the top right-hand side, I have HP. So 60 hits, and I die or I get defeated. And then you can see on in the very middle, I do... I can do two attacks. I can do tackle or I can do lunge. Tackles on the right on the right hand of tackle it says 10. I can do 10 uh, hits to somebody and then lunge can do 30 hits to somebody. And on the left side of tackle and lunge you can see these uh, stars and those are basically energy cards. So it takes one energy card to do tackle and it takes two energy cards to do lunge and the energies will vary. It'll say like you need water uh, type energies to do an attack or 
fire energies or electricity energies. The ones I have on this Pokemon EV means that I can equip any energies I want. They don't have to be a specific energy. That's what the white little uh, ones mean next to Tackle and Lunge. They can be any type of energy you want. Right now, I do have two water energies in my hand, and you need energy cards to do two things. You need energy cards to attack your opponent or do things uh, are doing effects on your uh, Pokemon and you also need energy cards on your Pokemon to retreat them. Unlike the Pokemon video game, you can't just retreat your Pokemon back to you. You have to have an actual energy card on them before you can retreat them. So no energy card, no retreat. So make sure you have an energy card on them if your Pokemon's weak or if it has an effect on them, an element status and things like that. Make sure you have a, uh, an actual energy card on them. And then you can see on the very bottom left, you may be able to read it, but it says weakness. So if, if I do fight a fighting type, I'm gonna do, if I do fight a fighting type, I'm actually gonna take more damage or some more hits just because I am weak to a, a fighting type. Just like the Pokemon video game, you are are going to be weak to certain types and you are going to be stronger to certain other types just like the Pokemon game but to be honest it's very easy to understand because the Pokemon the actual Pokemon card itself or the Pokemon actually tells you what you're weak to and what you're what you're uh, good against so just look on the Pokemon card if you don't know maybe you're new to Pokemon or maybe you just don't know certain Pokemon because there is a lot of Pokemon out there just look on the Pokemon card and it'll tell you what you're weak against and what you're uh, strong against and that's pretty much it when it comes to Pokemon now there are some other Pokemon cards in the game which you can't just throw on the bench. I'll explain how they actually work when I actually come across those Pokemon. But right now any Pokemon card that says basic I can actually get. Right now I think I'm actually going to throw out a, a trainer card. What are trainer cards? Well, trainer cards allow you to do certain things in the game, so maybe they'll allow you to search for energy cards in your deck, revive a Pokemon, get certain Pokemon out of your deck, draw more cards, and things like that. If you ever played Yu-Gi-Oh! and you ever played Magic cards, those are basically what trainer cards are. They're the equivalent to Yu-Gi-Oh!'s Magic card. They allow you to do certain things in the game, which is very cool. And you can use as many trainer cards as you have in your hand. There's no limit to how many trainer cards you can play. Right Right now, I'm actually going to play Porygon. I'm going to save my Eevee. I know you might be thinking to yourself, Eevee is a very strong basic Pokemon, a pretty good basic Pokemon. And to give you guys credit, he is a very good basic Pokemon. But I'm going to indeed save my basic Eevee. I'm going to explain why. So right now, I'm just going to throw down my basic Porygon. Throw it down to the field. I'm going to get... After my uh, opponent actually uh, plays his uh, basic... Uh, or plays, yeah, places a Pokemon which is Snorlax, and man, Snorlax is powerful, wow, but the downside is his attack has to have four energies, so it's going to be very hard for him to attack, he's going to have to uh, uh, really save up on the energies, his weakness is uh, going to be fighting, and he takes a lot to retreat himself, he takes four energies, so that all the energies you put into him are going to be lost, so he's kind of a a very beefy Pokemon but at the same time it takes him a lot of time to attack and a lot of time to do his thing which is quite quite pretty and in, pretty insane so what I'm gonna do right now is I'm actually gonna throw out my great ball I'm gonna what I'm hoping for is either to get a Lapras or to get a uh, Vaporeon because the way I actually play this deck I may be wrong about this but the way I like playing this deck I like playing off of Vaporeon and I like playing off a of Lapras so I think right now I'm actually gonna throw out a uh, Lapras right now because Lapras has a, a move called uh, Errand Running and it allows you to actually get a uh, more trainer cards in your hand you can actually search for a trainer card so really all I have to do is get a uh, get Vaporeon out so uh, I'm going to put him, put Lapras in my bench, put Eevee in my bench as well, and you can put as many Pokemon in your bench as you want during each turn. I'm going to throw out a, a Porygon, I mean I'm going to throw out an energy card on Porygon, excuse me, and then what I'm going to do is for right now I'm actually going to, uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, actually retreat it because I don't really need Porygon, it's just the fact that I had to have it as a, uh, a as a active Pokemon, so... Now, I'm just going to use another trainer card. Choose your deck for a trainer card. Reveal it. Not going to get another die ball. Actually, yeah, I'm, I'm going to actually get... get uh, let's see what I can get here, which is going to be kind of useful. Actually, I'm going to get Fisherman. Fisherman allows me to fish for more energy cards. And since I just wasted an energy card, this will be good just in case I run out of energy cards. 
I'm going to put another Polygon down. And now you're only allowed one energy card uh, per turn. So once I uh, already use that one on Porygon, I can't use another one. And just like the Pokemon uh, video game as well, you can actually add uh, equip items to Pokemon themselves. I do. I, I think this uh, Hidden Depths deck actually runs a couple of uh, equip cards in this deck. Tool Revival? Okay. I'm kind of a little worried now, but I just need to get my setup setup going. Okay, my opponent, Zach, looks like he's getting a pretty good setup going for the most part. I just want to make sure I can get out my Pokemon as fast as possible. You can see he did uh, did uh, put on a an, he did put on a uh, an item onto the uh, Pokemon he equipped one. The Pokemon this card is attached to can't be affected by any special conditions, so can't use anything like uh, I'm assuming special conditions mean like sleep, poison, uh, things like that. So I'm gonna actually go ahead and put an energy card on uh, Lapras. I'm gonna use Aaron running to get try to get out uh, Vaporeon. I'm gonna see if I can uh, Pokemon catcher if head switch one of your opponent's bench Pokemon. Actually, that might be a very good card considering he has this uh, Snorlax set up. So I'm gonna go ahead and get that. And since I do have the Fisherman as well, this is actually great because I can just keep on putting on uh, energy cards to Lap Lapras, and if I waste them, it's it's 100% okay. I'm actually feeling confident with this with this deck. Each player stuff. Nope. I'm actually have a pretty good setup right now. So I'm gonna actually uh, use this Pokemon Catcher. He's gonna lose all of his energies, hopefully. Yep. He's gonna. Oh no. It, uh, he doesn't actually lose energies, which I thought that was the case with this card, but I guess I didn't read it right. That's sometimes I get too excited to play the game and I actually don't read the things. But it's great though because. He'll have to uh, retreat. At least he'll have to retreat this if he wants to actually get out, get back out the Snorlax. And he can't retreat it, of course. He just has no energies. So I'm gonna go ahead and get out uh, another energy on him. And yeah, it's pretty much good. Oh, I can attack right now. Oh, it's just, it, it counts uh, the the uh, effects as uh, attacking. Let's see what I can get out. Heal all damage from one of your Pokemon. Discard the en actually. That's okay. Max potion is a, -A okay. Specifically, if I get get out my uh, Valporeon, I'll be okay. I'm just gonna uh, uh, get out Max uh, Potion right there. I'm looking pretty confident right now. Nothing has happened. You can see on the top left hand side next to the bench. You can see I do have a uh, my prize cards. I have six, and he has six. So no no damage has gone down now. I'm really just trying to get out my uh, Vaporeon as uh, fast as possible. But uh. I'm so glad I got out the uh, Fisherman. I'm going to put on another uh, Energy card right there. I'm just going to go ahead and hit him with Water Splash. Here we go. See if I can do some pretty mad damage. Ah! Instant KO, baby! And then I get to pull from my prize, my, prize, uh, my prize cards. And like I said before, they're random cards, so they can literally be anything. Do Duo? Okay, okay. And I'm not scared to actually uh, remove uh, Laporius if uh, Vaporeon comes out because, like I said, I had the Fisherman out, and the Fisherman is going to allow me to actually get my basic cards back out of the discard pile if I have four. Okay, I think what I want to do right now is uh, I don't really need another Eevee. I do have a Max Potion, but I think I'm actually going to use a. Uh, I'm going to use the Trainer. This might actually. <sighs> This might actually be really risky, but I think I want to take a chance. Okay. I kind of lost my fisherman there, and I lost everything, but I was willing to take a chance. I'm just going to throw that down. I'm actually going to put some on Eevee, just in case I have to throw throw uh, throw out Eevee. Let's go ahead and do Water Splash. Oh, 100, baby! Woo! Lapras is putting in the work right now. That's what I'm talking about. That's primarily how I play this deck. I rely on Lapras. I rely on Vaporeon. Now, here's one card which I can't play automatically after a Pokemon dies. You can see it sta says Stage 1. This is an evolved Pokemon, just like the Pokemon video game. You do have evol evol evolutions or evolves. So, uh, what you want to do here is I can actually put this on Golding. Now, you can evolve a Pokemon 
an active Pokemon or you can evolve a, a, a benched Pokemon. I'm just going to uh, evolve my benched Pokemon. There's no reason not to, so I'm going to go ahead and... Why can I... Uh... Oh, there you go. I didn't have it on all the way. But there you go. I, I made Golden uh, now Seeking. So there you go right there. Soaking Horn, Reckless Charge, Weakness is Grass, of course. And then there it is right there. I'm not going to throw on any more energy cards because I don't want to waste any just in case I have to retreat. Laporius, I'm going to do another Water Splash. That's okay. It's just warning me that I can't attach any more energy cards. Don't really care at this moment. Yes! Oh my god. Lapras is putting in the work. I'm not even worried about that about that uh, Farfetch, to be honest, because that Lapras is putting work. Honestly, I really don't even need the uh, Vaporeon, honestly. You can skip the Vaporeon. Put another uh, Eevee down. And you, I'm just, pretty much what I'm doing is just keep, keep attacking. It's probably a good idea to keep putting on energy cards to my benched Pokemon. There's no reason not to, but I'm really just saving them for my Vaporeon once I get Vaporeon out. Okay, Porygon. It's three to six right now. So you can see six prize cards versus three. I'm about to win. Once I hit zero, then I automatically win. Okay. I got paralyzed. And there is status effects, which I might have said before. So we have a status effect right here where I am paralyzed. So it looks like I won't be doing any attacking. Actually, I don't need to use the, uh, the dive ball. But I'm going to use the dive ball. Why? Because I just want to thin out my deck. And yes, I cannot attack. I'm very aware of that, but uh, I'm still not quite worried though because I, I only have 30 damage taken to me. Okay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and do a uh, water splash. Yeah, that's what I'm talking. Yeah, yeah, this this trainer Zach is pretty much very easy. But to be fair, I did have the Lapras early game. The Lapras is really killing it right now. Oh, now I got the Vaporeon. Which, honestly, if you ask me, I really don't need to uh, get out Vaporeon. So I'm going to keep Lapras out, to be honest. I'm going to upgrade, though, my Eevee to Lapras. And then I'm just going to start putting on energies like a boss. Let's go. So here we go. Where is Vaporeon? Stage 1. You get to put it on Eevee. Boom, bada, bang. Gonna go ahead and put on an energy card right there. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and do Water Splash. It's gonna, it's gonna do a lot of damage, boy. Yes! I have one left. I will do one more on camera because I'm very hyped up and very excited to be playing the Pokemon trading card game. Let's go. Let's see if I can... I don't care. I'm, I'm retreating. Why? Because I just want to get some action with Vaporeon, though. And I, you can see I already have a lot of energy cards, really, so I'm not that worried. Hydra Splash. I might have been able to probably kill, honestly, with uh, Vaporeon if I, already, if, I, if I had an active Pokemon, but that's okay. I just want some time with my Vaporeon. Look at Vaporeon. Vaporeon is a monster, and it's... Very, very cute Pokemon. I love Vaporeon. But uh, honestly, if you are to ask me which one's more powerful, still probably the L Lapras because it has a lot of HP and it is a tank of a monster with a lot of HP, a good Pokemon, and then it does have Water Splash, which is 80 plus HP, and it's very good. So overall, these are probably the two strongest cards in the deck if you were to ask me. Let's see what I can uh, do right here. Put another one on Leporius, and then attack for Hydra Splash, and BOOM! Game over, buddy! <laughs> oh yeah! Dun 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 dun! Dun, dun. That Vaporeon and that Lapras putting in work. If I can get those early game, then I'm pretty much set. Of course, this is a starter deck, so of course, this is not going to be good later down on the road. I'm probably going to get my behind beaten by some other ones. Let's go ahead and face uh, this uh, water, this fire deck. I will have an advantage. Actually, no, Calvin, because I haven't played Calvin yet, it looks like. And uh, he doesn't have any stars, so this might be... A very uphill battle. I know it's stupid. It might be a very not that wise idea to play the Hidden Depths deck. But I absolutely love the Hidden Depths deck. I just cannot <laughs> lie to you guys. I love, love, love this deck. So let's go ahead and uh, jump back in.
He's using water deck, but I'm not that scared. I didn't even notice in the background there's some uh, wood grains, but that's cool. And uh, as you can see on the field with your uh, with the, with the uh, with on the field, you can see that there's actually two coins because a lot of Pokemon actually use coins, which you might have been reading on some of these Pokemon. Let them say this attack does more if you flip a coin, or you can't paralyze someone unless you hit this amount, this uh, uh, heads or tails. So a lot of it comes down to a flip of the coin. That's something that can actually bite you, especially some Pokemon can't attack unless they actually flip a coin and uh, do damage. But here we go. Right off the bat, I got EV and I got a dive ball. Oh my god, this is actually looking really, really good for me. And the nice thing about the game is, which I absolutely think is a very good addition is, when you actually evolve your Pokemon, you don't lose your energy cards on them. So that's a very nice touch. That would really suck if you lost your energy cards when you upgraded, but nope, you don't have to do that. Okay, let's see what this guy's rocking. Okay. I'm actually going to get out Dive Ball so I can see if I can get out a, either Laporius or a Vaporeon. Okay, okay, okay. It looks like I'm getting out early game uh, Vaporeon again. I'm just getting a lot of lucky draws. Okay, put down Laporius. I can get another trainer card out. Actually, if I was to get a Great ball, great ball allows me to search for a, a Pokemon from the first seven uh, cards in my hand, or the first seven cards on, from my deck. So let's see what my, my my top seven cards are. Nope. Dang it, I don't know where Vaporeon is. I'm actually going to have to get one out, but that's okay though, because I'm actually thinning out my deck. I will indeed uh, put some energy cards on uh, Eevee though. Why? Because uh, later on it's going to be Vaporeon anyway. Okay. It looks like I can attack with tackle, so. Oh, what does that move even do? That's funny. What does that move even do? Refresh. Heal. Oh, it heals? Okay. That's why I need to get out a big hitter. Uh, yeah, I'm really not liking my uh, my uh, my hand right now, so that's okay. I'm going to use the end card and uh, get a new deck. I mean, get a new hand, excuse me. I got a healing scarf, too. Wow. Okay. Actually, this is going to be a pretty sick combo. Put this on uh, Leporius. Put another Eevee on the bench. Actually, attacking is kind of useless. Because it does have Refresh. I think, I, if I read it right, I'm not quite sure about this, but I think Refresh... How does Refresh work? Okay, they're getting a lot of these items out. How did this refresh work? I can't see it because of all these cards, but yeah. Okay, he only did uh, 20 damage to me, but let me see this Corsol Corsola, Corsolia, Corsolia, I think. Sorry, some of these Pokemon names are kind of like hard to pronounce. Oh, so refresh automatically works regardless. You don't have to flip a coin. That might be actually uh, kind of broken if you think about it. Uh, let's put another uh, energy on Lapras, and then let's go ahead and attack for 10. Any attack done. So it has a uh, an item currently on it, that item, and that item probably makes it to where I can't do any damage to it. Let's see what the... Uh, any damage done to the Pokemon this card is attached to by any opponent's attack is reduced. So yes, I won't be able to do anything because my attack is 10. I'm going to go ahead and throw out another end card, get a new hand, because I'm not liking this hand at all. That hand is very bad. Let's see. Actually, I'm going to throw on another uh, energy just a second. And then this time, it's going to do damage because I will be doing 20 right there. Should have probably... Uh, Jesus, I made a quite mistake. I'm actually frustrated right now because I made a mistake. What I should have done in my situation, in my opinion, I should have put that on Lapras. Retreated EV and boom, I would have had a monster out. But no, my ass wasn't paying attention. That's something you do have to be paying attention in these uh, card games. Search your deck for the two bit. Okay, I'll get more energy cards, so I'm not quite too worried.
put another uh, bench Pokemon out, and then I'll go ahead and hit for uh, hit for uh, twenty. Or yeah, hit for ten. Excuse me, I guess because flip a coin. Those hard charms, though. But I mean, once I get out the big hitter, then <laughs> I might be able to do some some damage. Okay, I'm, I'm finally knocked out. This is my first time in this video. I am knocked out. But that is A-OK -okay with me. And I got this Max Revive, too. So I can bring back uh, Laporius or something if I want to. Give me a Dive Ball, please. Yes. Dive Ball... Of course, you know what I'm already going to search for. I'm going to search for that uh, Vaporeon. Let's see if I can get out that Vaporeon. That beautiful, beautiful Vaporeon. Please? Where is Vaporeon when you when you want her? She never comes out. Or he never comes out. Whatever uh, the race, whatever the gender is. Let's see. I'm, it doesn't really matter what I uh, pull out right here. I'll pull out Goldeen. Put out one to the bench, Magic Harp, and then what I'm gonna do is put an energy on Leopard, and now I'm gonna go ham. I'm absolutely gonna go ham. Let's wreck some faces, boys and girls. Water splash. Ah, that's fine. That's still a heck of a lot too, and it's dead. I mean, it's it's fainted. In better words, it is fainted. Oh, I remember this guy actually. I played him, but I think. I had a disconnect or something, because I think, believe it or not, even if you're playing a, a CPU-controlled opponents, if your internet goes down or something, then uh, you automatically uh, lose the game or something, or you can't play the game anymore, even if you uh, don't have internet, which is kind of unfortunate. You still need to run off the servers, which I thought might not be the case because you're playing, you're not playing people on the internet, but in fact, you do need. Uh, you do need internet to do anything on this game, I do believe. But man, that thing is going to wreck my face. Oh no. But again, we have Lapro and we have a Max Revive if anything goes... Right now, I think in this situation, I'm just going to keep out Lapras. I haven't done any damage yet. I do have this on it. I do have the Healing Scarf. Whenever you attach an energy card from your hand, it, it, it heals 20. So I can literally waste this uh, energy card on Lapras if I need to heal. And right now, I'm just going to do a, a big-ass Water Splash. Yep, I don't want to attach any more energies. I actually want to save that energy. What? Oh, yeah, I remember this. I remember this. I'm going to have to throw on a... Uh, I'm going to have to throw on an interview right there. That, I, I'm pretty sure this guy defeated me before with the, with the Kyogre. That Kyogre is an absolute beast of a card. I do want Kyogre if I ever do a water deck. Because I absolutely love water, but th this is by far, even, I will have to admit, better than Lapras and better than Vaporeon. But to be honest, we all know Kyogre is a legendary. I'm actually surprised that legendary Pokemon are basic cards, considering how powerful they are. So let's go ahead and throw on energy. Heal myself up. I'm gonna I'm gonna save 20 right there. And then I'm just gonna hit him hard with a water splash. Let's go. I wanna be the Did it die? Woo! Let's go! And I got Vaporeon. That's why I couldn't find Vaporeon. But I wanna be the very best. And then I'm gonna get hit with a copyright strike because I was singing the Pokemon theme song, but man. This is actually a pretty close game, five to four. But I did take care of the big threat. The big threat right there was obviously Kyogre. Now I'm not worried at all. Okay, I'm gonna put energy on uh, Eevee. Transform it to my favorite Pokemon, one of my favorite Pokemons, Vaporeon. Put another one out on the bench, Doduo. And I do still have a Max Revive if one of these goes down. I'm gonna hit hard with uh, Water Splash and boom. How are you going to stop me now with the Laporius? You're going to have to do something big. And you know what? If the Laporius dies, I'm bringing out the Vaporeon. Or I'm just going to bring out Max Revive. So, come on. Try to touch me, too. That healing. You can do You can do that all you want. That's not literally going to do anything to me. Because I'm going to hit hard with the Water Splash. That's instant KO right there. 
for a basic card, Lapras is absolutely a monster. I'm surprised that it's actually a basic Pokemon, considering what kind of attack it can do. 80 plus is crazy. Ah, uh, he's trying to revive that Kyogre back, though. Who's trying to revive that Kyogre back? Well, you bring that bad boy back. Uh-uh, you're gonna get some... You're gonna get some, honestly, disrespect from me because I'm gonna take that out again. <coughs> I'm just gonna keep, keep on attacking. Yeah, buddy! None of, none of your cards can do anything. What is this? Well, the arrow beam's pretty strong, but you're gonna need three turns. You, you, you can't survive about one or two hits and you're dead. So, and the stampede only does what, 20? So, eh. Let's see if I can put on another one to, uh... Vaporeon. I could have saved that for another heal for Leprius, but I really don't want to waste it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do uh, Water Splash. And this is pretty much game over right here. Okay, maybe not quite game over, but one more hit and you're done. Okay, one more of those hits and I'm definitely done. But that is A-OK -okay because I do have the uh, Valkorion in backup. And uh, honestly, if, if, if I didn't have more, uh, I'm being honest with you, if I didn't have... Uh, less uh prize cards then honestly this might be kind of tr tragic because i kind of wasted all my efforts on lapras when vaporeon doesn't have anything you can't really attack yet and then uh and then the rest of them don't have any energy cards let's see what this is draw a card of each opponent's basic pokemon i know i'm gonna win this anyway but i want to see what i can draw so i guess i'm gonna put this on vaporeon attack and it's game over I just wanted to see what I would have drawn, just in case. What? Oh my! <laughs> Epic fail on video right here. I accidentally used Aaron running. <laughs> what is that? You're sick. I, actually, I want to get, I want to get healing he another healing scarf out. That's what happens sometimes on video when you talk and you're trying to uh, concentrate. You kind of forget what you're doing. So this one's actually a, a stupid mistake on my part. My uh, Laparis is going to go down. I'll bring out Vaporeon and still win. I just wasn't paying attention. I clicked the wrong button talking to, to you guys, but that's okay. Let's see if I can bring out Vaporeon. Your turn, let's see. I do have uh, Fisherman, so that's very good. What I need to do with this deck as well, I need to get out the Fisherman right away. If I can get out Fisherman right away and keep it in my hand, that's very good. I absolutely think Fisherman is an absolute very handy card for a lot of different plays in your deck and a lot of different things you can do. You can kind of play on play with the uh, Fisherman. So there you go. That is game over. And you can see I did defeat this guy. I'm pretty sure I did not defeat this guy before because of that that really powerful Kyogre he runs. He runs a really powerful Kyogre. Of course, if I was running that electricity deck, it probably would have been a much easier time, but I just love, love, love this deck. As you can see right now, I did get a couple of uh, energy. I did get a couple of coins. The MVP was Lapori, uh, Lapor Lapras, and Lapras is doing some h hard work for me. Damage dealt, 670. I really did some work right there. And that is my first episode of the Pokemon Trading Card Game. I hope y'all guys like the Pokemon Trading Card Game. I'm absolutely having a very fun time playing the Pokemon Trading Card Game. Feel free to add me if you want to. Again, my name is The Trainer Wayne. The Trainer Wayne. And uh, everything is in capital except for... Uh, so basically the first letter of each word is capital the trainer and then Wayne. So then go ahead and find me if you would like to add me, feel free to. But I'm absolutely having a blast. But just note, take it easy on me because I am a beginner. But I'm absolutely loving it. And it looks like next episode, when I do next episode, I will be able to play this girl Ally. Al Ally? Ally? However you want to pronounce her name. She's running a psychic deck. And I'm absolutely want to crush her again. I'll probably keep playing the uh, Hidden Depths deck for a couple of episodes because I'm loving this. And then I'm going to try some other decks. Don't really know how those decks really play out but i'm curious to see more of those decks because uh, i only played a little bit with them so i don't know how to play them or at least how i want to play them but anyway guys that is some of the pokemon trading card game anyway guys peace out i'll see you guys later in my next episode i'm out guys